Hi, in this screencast you're going to learn how to back up your course and save it offline. And this will allow you to either import it to a new Moodle server or just keep a safe copy for your backup. So here's your first step. As an instructor, you log into your Moodle course and you'll be looking at the main page of your course. Over on the left hand side you should see a panel called the administration panel. And one of the options that you have there is the word backup. So go ahead and click on backup. And when you do a backup of your course, it's not necessary that you back up all of the assignments that may have been sent to you over the course of a semester or a year. To make just a simple backup of your course, you need to do the following steps. First, when you're in this backup panel in the course backup area, on the right hand side, click the word none, which will deselect all of the user data. And user data would be things that students have uploaded. So I click none, and then I scroll all the way down to the bottom. And we get down to the very bottom of the course, just a few things we also need to do as well. So one of them is under users, we need to unselect all the users because if I did a backup right now, any of the students that perhaps may be in this course would also come over with this um, particular class and we don't need them and actually don't want them in this course as a backup. So I click the drop down and click none. Additionally, any user files that are part of this course, we don't want those either. Again, those are some files that may have been uploaded by a student, so I'm going to choose no. I do want all the course files, so those are files that are above here, for example, all the documents in this course. And I don't want any of the grade histories or site files used in the course. Or I do want the site files, but I don't need grade history. And then additionally, the role backup assignments. We don't want any of these roles, so these would be any of these people, like the administrators or teachers, we don't need those either, especially if we're moving this to another server where they might have to create a different account. So we click none and we click continue. And you'll be presented with a dialog box that'll tell you the name of your course. And you can change this right now if you'd like to. I usually just leave it as a default. And the reason is because it does put a date code in here to tell me exactly when I'm doing this. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll then see a word down here that says continue. So we'll go ahead and click continue. And this backup process will take either five seconds or several minutes, depending on the size of your course. Okay, once the course is done backing up and creating a zip file, so this is a compressed file of everything inside your course, at the very bottom of this page, you'll then see the continue button. Click continue. And now you'll see that you've got in your folders, and this is in your files area, a folder called backup data. And inside backup data, you'll see your courses are listed here. Now it is not necessary to have more than one backup of your course at any one time. So you can safely choose the oldest version of your course. For example, here's March 28. And I'm going to check this box and then delete that folder. So I'll just click delete completely and say yes. And then here is the current backup of this course. So this is the backup of the course. It's 260 megabytes. So it means there's some pretty big stuff in there. And at this point, if you'd like to download it, all you need to do then is just click this link. You'll then get a pop-up window that'll come up and tell you that you would like to save this file. And you save it to your hard drive. So you just click and then tell it where you would like to put this file and click save. And that course will then download. If you do have a course that's very large like this, those steps that we just went through will allow you to create the backup and then the system administrator will be able to move this course from one server to another. Because of a course this large in scope and size, um, that might be a necessary thing to have done. But at least now you know the way to back up your course and to have a safe version of it. Thanks, and if you have any questions, contact Ron Heltman at kentisd.org for the Kent Intermediate School District Moodle server.